Welcome back to your SIU Medicine Minute. Joining me today is Dr. David Stewart, Professor in Chief for the Division of General Surgery. Dr. Stewart, thanks so much for coming today. It's great to be here. So we want to discuss IBD, uh, inflammatory bowel disease. Really, doctor, what is IBD and what are some of the common symptoms? You can think of IBD as involving either Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. And both of those disease entities involve inflammation of our digestive system. In the case of ulcerative colitis, inflammation of the large intestine, which is the rectum and the colon. And in the case of Crohn's disease, inflammation potentially of any part of our digestive tract from the mouth all the way down to the anus. The symptoms include abdominal pain, diarrhea with or without blood, unintentional weight loss, and a general feeling of not being well. And what would be the process of treatment for IBD? So it includes physical exam, taking a good history, and usually laboratory tests, a colonoscopy, sometimes an upper endoscopy, as well as CT imaging of the abdomen and pelvis. And from all of that data, we can tell patients whether they likely or not likely have this disease. And what would be some of the risk factors for developing IBD? Uh, and at the same time, are there lifestyle changes patients can take uh, to help out with the symptoms of IBD? So IBD tends to run in families, and that suggests that there is likely a genetic contribution to developing the disease. There are environmental factors, and that does include our diet. Diet doesn't give you IBD, but if you have IBD or you're predisposed to it, then there are certain foods that may trigger it, such as high fat foods, certain types of raw fruits and vegetables that are potentially higher in fiber, and also high carbohydrate foods as well. And real quick, what's the difference between IBD and IBS? Great question. IBS is a functional bowel problem. No inflammation, just a lot of abdominal complaints. IBD is inflammation, and that's where the complaints come from in our gut. Dr. David Stewart, Professor in Chief of the Division of General Surgery, thank you again for coming. Thanks today. for having me. And thank you for watching today's SIU Medicine Minute. For more information, visit our website at siumed.org.